the gods stood round in ones and twos, Olympus buzzing with the news just come through on Hermes wire. Mars had decided to retire. <laughs> he knew that he was getting old. For now the killing left him cold that used to bring him such content. He wrote to Zeus, who soon had sent a young successor, smooth of eye, well versed in old war's theory, who would learn to break the rules at the best military schools. Mars eyed him up and down. My boy, I hope this job will bring you joy, he said. It's easier now, you know, than when I started long ago. I opened in a smallish way, gave them a few clubs for play, a few tribes, then the sack of Troy passed by while I was but a boy. The Greek and Romans had their fun, and then I sent the plundering hum. Byzantium had had its day, its golden birds in fragments lay. Crusades, I found, were lots of fun. The job was very smoothly done, but I'd arranged just for those wars a deal with my competitors. <laughs> they're, they're in Cressy too, and Agincourt. I found those one-day games so short. <laughs> my favourites were those civil wars, wars of roses, stripes and stars, where deadly darts my friends are fired, and then they're usually inspired by lovely motives such as greed or a supremacy of creed. And so the numbers gaily mount in thousands far too great to count. Napoleon's hosts at Waterloo, the corpses came in two by two. And just when all was quiet, then I'd Europe started once again. So many answered to my call, I knew that this was the best of all. In 16, on the Somme's bleak field, I gleaned an even greater yield. Full 60,000 in one day, and each one young and fresh from play. The young god laid his scepter down. I see it's time you doffed your crown, he interrupted. Who sad to say, has games of war a play today? Such chance play just simply isn't in it. Just watch, 10 million in one minute. <laughs>